Yeah, I'm gonna admit it. This movie's got some good stuff. The action, the charm, the wit. Lawrence Kasdan's got some writing props, but the memorabilia, copying A New Hope, and lack of character development, right along with retcons up the ass, so huge this might as well be a reboot. Oh goodness, you have no idea. The memorabilia this movie goes on and on about how much it wants you to know this is Star Wars. By the way, look out. Look, it's the Millennium Falcon. You won't believe it. Oh, this was from episode four. That was from episode five. Check this out. No, it's not over yet. We start our movie with Rey. They ever go through one of the most nuanced scenes in the saga. So you're thinking, hell yeah, but hell no. That's it. Then they throw this potential and idea away for the rest of the movie and trilogy. No character development at all whatsoever or story arcs really. This movie then continues to Poe who decides to shoot at the First Order in defense when they invade the camp. Then they copy the exact same storytelling and plot points as A New Hope down to a droid taking the damn plans. Damn is the word because what the fuck? Why are you copying A New Hope? Do something new. Motherfucker, what is the purpose of be of spending all their hard-earned fucking money to go see your film if you're not going to make a new movie? I don't want to pay for the same damn movie. Then, this movie moves forward to Finn, who realizes the immorality of the First Order firsthand and decides to defect right there. Interesting. Let's see what they do with this. Then him and Poe break out together, and some damn good dialogue, charm, and wit is shared. It might not be as subtle as the original trilogy, but it's still damn good. Like a modern take on the original trilogy style, if you will. Not half bad. Lawrence Kasdan, I gotta give you that. Then they crash. Then Poe dies off screen, seemingly. What the fuck? This movie has a pattern of throwing question and potential storytelling elements in your face, only to throw this shit in the fucking dumpster five minutes later. What in the fuck? Why can't you stick to any storytelling elements? element just stick to it you introduce a character as if they're going to be important have them be important don't kill them off only to have them return in the end out of nowhere when they serve little to no purpose in the story poe doesn't get to do shit ray doesn't develop throughout the story but she has a cool personality and some good stuff sorry garnet tigress ketra shira and wonder woman are multiple characters who are fleshed out and well written memorabilia every five seconds unlike the prequels which this movie distances itself from and pretends never even happened that sucks acting like the prequels don't exist out of fear only to then copy the original trilogy that sucks spamming memorabilia hoping it'll trigger nostalgia every five minutes that fucking sucks this movie is not subtle it's not nuanced Finn and Rey meet up, she escapes, her and Finn kills them, they escape, and then they meet Han Solo. Man, is he conveyed so well in this movie, but fuck, did they do him so damn dirty. I mean, why is he still a smuggler? He was a war hero, you don't think he might have accumulated enough wealth from that to where he wouldn't have to smuggle? Dumbass, stupid shit put into the movie for no damn good reason, putting things into the plot that doesn't add to the character and story. Dumbass, more stupid shit. You not only have things happen in the movie that are unexplained in a universe that needs its lore upholded in order for it to make sense. So if you do something with no context or explanation like this, oh well, Han Solo sat over his son turning evil. He split from Leia and went smuggling. But it's stupid because not only was he a war hero, but he has also accumulated wealth from that. So even in his emotions were there. There's no reason for him to do this. They don't even explain it. With Kylo, they never say, oh, it's because of Ben turning into Kylo that he smuggled again. Nope, it's unexplained completely. When you're continuing a story, some things do need to be explained or at least shown in order for the audience to understand where we left off. Here they give that no context, so we are left in the dark about what happened to these characters and why things are this way years later. Remember, this is a sequel, so I don't want to hear all you ass-kissing sequel fanboys talk shit about, oh, it doesn't need an explanation, oh, it's fine the way it is, you're just full of hate, this and that. It's a sequel, so it is continuing a saga, so it has to be shown or explained. It is unexplained. So we are left in the dark about many things in the movie. Snoke, the First Order, and Han Solo becoming a smuggler again all need context of some sort, especially since it's a sequel. Being left in the dark feels like, oh, 
we don't know how to explain it or are too afraid of trying. So let's just hide it all. This is not subtle. Don't be fooled by these sequel ass kissers who dick write Disney, trash the prequels, then lie about the new trilogy. It's bullshit. This is not subtlety. It is unexplained as to why he would regress as a character over Kylo. I understand it's sad this happened to your son, of course. But why uproot your entire life and resort to your old lifestyle and you don't even need to? He had money at the end of Return of the Jedi. He was wealthy, so financially he doesn't need to do it. But also he had developed as a character. He had become a war hero, so why regress his character over some brushed off quickly explanation that makes no sense? They brush this off very quickly with some quick explanation about Leia and their relationship and then it's thrown away, never explained or anything like so many things in this movie. The part where they meet Han Solo after they met on Jakku. Well, this movie was just a duplication of a New Hope story template. The problem with The Force Awakens is that, yes, it has good action and good acting, but its entire plot was the same as a New Hope's entire template shot for shot. Then there's literally no moments or barely any moments for the characters to breathe, to be fleshed out, and there's no character development in this movie whatsoever. It wasn't really about character development. It wasn't really about nuance. It was really just about the fun, the quipping, the action. It's a rush. This movie is the ultimate rush, but with no subtlety, no nuance. It doesn't utilize these things. It doesn't develop its characters. That's the problem with The Force Awakens. This movie has no layers. It is not subtle. It doesn't flesh out its characters. It doesn't have any level of subtlety. Finn was a good character. The action was more grounded. That was good. But they have no internalizations in the fight whatsoever. So you can't get invested in the emotional depth or emotional turmoil of the fight. Finn was a good character. They didn't utilize all the potential this character had. And by the end of the movie, they didn't utilize his character. They talk about, oh, the force is inclusive. Oh, really? What about Finn? See, this movie doesn't even give its character story arcs. That's not in this movie either. This movie is just okay. It's like a 7.7. .7. It's not really a film that had a level of subtlety and nuance. New Hope did. And it's not a film that told the story with profound story arcs and tackling profound concepts like the prequels. It's really just about the experience, the action. And uh, that's all right, I guess. This movie, I'm not a fan. And this is what I'm laying down. And this was Tarragon. Thank you for watching.